a practicing guide to pagan priesthood community leadership and vocation by reverend laura o'brien <laughs> so you get uh, three different sections and so section one the duties of a priest uh, chapters 1 to 4, section 2, pastoral skills and development, chapters 5 to 8, and section 3, sacred skills and yeah, sacerdotal skills and development, chapters 9 to 12. Conclusion, appendix, priesthood in modern pagan traditions, bibliography, and some recommended uh, resources, and um, Yeah, <laughs> so like you're getting uh, things like pastoral duties, uh, practicing self-discipline, um, self-assessment if priesthood is the right um, way for you, uh, journal prompts, uh, group dynamics, group management, ethics and accountability. Um, running a Coven Grove group, um, a group or personal crisis fund, um, uh, difference between meditation and journeying, um, when not, not to be a priest, devotional creativity, and a few other topics are discussed in this uh, book. So um, it covers, a, a, to me, a, a variety of topics for those who want to take that position as a pagan leader, as the priesthood type of situation. Um, you get the conclusion, um, recommended resources you get um, some different topics, but not a whole lot. Um, but yeah, it's, to me, it's a decent jump off point. If you want to take that route of becoming a leader in the pagan community and want a book that, that discusses, a, a like, a decent amount of topics, of course, there could likely be a few more topics, but um, not like to me, I don't have that desire to go into this type of role. But for those who do want to, I think this could be a good um, starting point or a good reference for years to come. But yeah, a practical guide to pagan priesthood. Happy readings.